Welcome to Brood Home Farms. My name is Ernie, and today we are going to be showing you part one of a Jean Payne setup for both um, heating the greenhouse and keeping it warm, as well as creating some nice healthy compost. Um, so, to start with in today's video, I have a 55 gallon drum, and this is going to be filled with the materials to create the compost and create the heat. What I have to begin with in here is about 20 gallons of wood chips, both dry and green, to begin with. And this is going to create the base um, from which I'll begin building the rest of the system. I also have a 50 foot copper coil. Uh, this was a wart chiller that was bought online. It was about I don't know, $45 or so. And this is going to sit in the center of the system. And as the system cooks and creates heat, water will flow through this and then be piped out and around the greenhouse to help create a, a, a microclimate that's conducive to plant growth. Um, so for this next part, I'm going to be adding some more material in that will begin uh, uh, helping create the, the environment for the microorganisms to begin breaking things down. So I'm going to start with some leaves that I've got here. And these are frozen, and that's okay, they can be frozen. The important part is that I've got some leaf litter here, and this, this has already begun the, the process of breaking down on the forest floor, around your yard, or wherever you might find it. And this is going to help introduce some of the life that you need to, to change what you've got into something else. So I'm just going to put in some leaf litter around the coil. And then some in the center of the coil. And then I'm going to begin adding some more wood chips to kind of layer up this, this center bit. So behind me here I've got a number of wood chips in a barrel. These are primarily green wood chips for this next stage. And you can see that in there there's still chlorophyll in the bark. The wood is still fresh. And this came from a tree that we needed to have taken down. So I'm going to fill this in around the edges. and in the center of the coil until I can pick up the barrel and dump in a bit more. I'm going to try and shake some of these chips out of the center. I want to make sure that I can get a couple layers of both the, the leaves and the chips in the center of this coil. And I'm going to add some more leaves. So those leaves don't have to be broken up any more than that? They'll be just fine that way? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. The heat will cook them down. They'll break down and it'll add water into the system that needs to be there anyway. Ladies and gents, this is why you have to have a big, strong person on your farm. He can lift all the heavy things. Now, is it important to be packing everything down like that so it's really tight? Does that help it cook? What's the process? I'm just trying to make room for as much material as possible. Uh, the more material we can get in here, the longer it'll cook, the better insulated it'll be as it cooks. So there's, there's a little bit more space here, but um, at this point, it's, it's primarily so that I can cover all of the coil. Once that's all covered, 
and it's got a layer on it, it'll it'll be nice and insulated and it continue to cook inside around that coil to keep the water heated as it flows through. So what else has to go in here? I know that there's fresh wood chips, there's wood chips from trees that are already seasoned, there's also the, the leaves that have started decomposing. What else goes in a system like this? Um, we're also going to need a few things to help kickstart the system off. Um, some water will have to go in, and the frozen leaves had some water on them. Um, some wood ash will help in the, in the process. And as well as that, you would need some urea or some uric acid. Now, if you're uh, 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 in a farm that has chickens, you will be able to get that from, from chicken waste. But um, in this particular case, I have been saving human urine to, to make as part of the slurry that will be poured in here to it it would it could be the difference between like cow manure and horse manure for fertilizer one one works and one's just a bit too acidic okay all right i figured it was worth asking for the youtubers out there because you know a lot more about this stuff than i do so and, and not enough to answer that question <laughs> it was worth it though yeah, wasn't it <laughs> yeah so uh so yeah when when we come back uh we'll be We'll be getting ready to, to finish off the top layer of this here and, uh, and uh, add the slurry to get the cook started. So we'll see you there in a few minutes. Awesome.